as you may already know i have two cars which are generation after generation i have the a209 and the a207 i've separated the headrest cap from the a207 just because i actually wanted to see what was inside and it was fairly easy to get that cap off but the cap on this a209 i can't figure out how to get it off um the headrest roll bar systems for the convertibles look almost exactly the same if you can see right here the only difference i noticed from this side of it is first of all that the connector is here and this has a hole for the other side um in case, because they make the same assembly for both sides um this does not have that um this instead has the connectors underneath on the bottom and the other difference is that they both have this little thing here and they look exactly the same like look at that and look at that um you can kind of see it there you go exactly the same it's just that this has an arm attached to it and the a207 doesn't have an arm attached to this the reason of this arm is because this is to unlock it so you can push it down that is all fine and i kind of wish they put the arm here but they didn't because this is a one-time use this can be reused now we we'll look at the back and you'll see why so, turning this over okay so when we turn this over you can actually see the curvature of both of these hey, back um roll bars is actually the same the housing is almost exactly the same even the rivet holes are there in the a207 even though they didn't put the same back plate now the reason this back plate is bigger is because there's a little motor right here to lower the head restraint on its own in the a207 what they did is they took the motor out of this housing and they pull it with a cable and it can go up and down so this cable moves the top plate which is the everyday use plate up and down this is the emergency plate and they both have the same emergency plate so now it's exactly the same in this sense same plate same springs um you can actually notice that there's two springs on this one on one on each arm but there's only one spring that's what i noticed and i think that's because this is supposed to be pulled by hand up and this is supposed to be pulled by a motor so it can have a little more resistance um the other thing i noticed is that the these are the same these two are the same but this has a little insulation cover on it for some reason it's like a rubber cover <clears throat> but then on this you can see there's the one-time use airbag type actuator it's just a explosive charge that shifts this up and it unlocks and goes up both of these i've deployed just for the moment this isn't actually used up i just pushed it by hand so that i could open get it up and same with this but this is not one time use you can put 12 volts to these two wires and it'll keep firing again and again um this isn't one time use if you look on the bottom under this the holes are actually exactly the same this has the same four holes even though it only uses 3 so they actually they didn't change the this, this design even the the whole bottom like let me show you like this these these poles are the same um the only difference is the actuator itself this is a this is a a reusable one this is a one time use and i presume that the reason is because this one it fires slower and the explosive fires faster and the reason i think that is because this has a higher resistance i measured the resistance on this it's about like um i think 6 ohms versus this is like 2 a little more than 2 so the greater the greater the resistance the longer time it will take to fire i think if i'm understanding this correctly so I I have tried putting 12 volts to this and it fires fairly quickly like literally like you know <laughs> like blink of an eye so but maybe in some situations when you're in a rollover this isn't enough 
so that's probably why they figured and figured that they'll use this this also brings more money because this being one-time use to get this out of the car this was a pain i had to take apart the entire interior like the whole back seats the side walls um it's hours of labor so if this thing is fired and can't be replaced or, or can't be reset manually then you have to you have hours of labor which will easily total the car because this actuator itself from mercedes is like 300 dollars or something so that would total a car this wouldn't total a car because this can be reset on your own you just push the lever push it down and you're done but this one doesn't have a lever even though it has a spot for it it doesn't have it so now what i've what i've understood is that this makes more sense for safety because it's quicker and it makes more sense for the company because it ends up um totaling cars which means customers will buy new ones or even if they don't buy new ones they will buy some other brand but it's more likely that when you own a mercedes you want another mercedes so that's why this ends up this design also bringing the motor out of this housing reduces the cost because now you're using one motor to pull both headrests versus one for each one so motor cost goes away this little bit of sheet metal which probably cost a penny goes away then um this this sheet metal this little portion goes away as well so there's a lot of savings but if you think about it they're very small but if you think about the number of cars that mercedes produces in a year or in the in this generation because this is a 207 this was produced for 2010 2011 2012 13 14 15 16 17 that's eight years of production in eight years even if they produced a hundred thousand of these every year that's a lot of cars and that's that's 800,000 cars that they're saving like the little bit on each one so um i actually tried putting the a209 head restraint and i wired it up i i changed the pins to work in my a207 but it turned out that the 207 doesn't accept it because the 207 is looking for the resistance of the newer design for this lower resistance that's the only reason it doesn't work um it shows an airbag light but in the 209 if you put this in it works so you can go back where you, you can you can put the new design in the old but not the old in the new so i wanted to put the old design in the new because i wanted a reusable actuator but um mercedes has purposely done done it so you can't even these clips that they've stamped out are exactly the same so everything is literally the same just a slight difference because of evolution i just wanted to show this video if anyone's thinking of trying this you can possibly do this but the only thing only flaw that only um roadblock that i hit was how do i reduce the resistance of that actuator so i don't know that if you do please comment um let me know because I have no idea and that actuator just needs to be like four four ohms less um i don't know so i'm i'm gonna put these back in my car i just took them out because in my cars i just took them out because i wanted to try it because the uh, the headrest um uh, the roll bar is much cheaper for a uh a209 than a 207 so i just wanted to try it and see if i could if I was successful, I would have made a video of being successful, but I wasn't, so. Um, the, the headrest cap is also different, actually. So this cap is a little bit shaped different, but I think you can put either one on either one. Like, a, uh, they're, they're removable. It's fairly easy to remove. And I'm sure this one can be removed, too. I just have to get the trick. But, um, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Um, these are side by side, exactly the same. The only reason this is a little bit lower is because the cap is off. That's why it looks like it's lower than this. But if the cap was on, they would be the same height. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.